Hello and thank you for joining me on another video. Today I am going to be makeup free because I'm going to be demonstrating on myself the NIMU Thermal Detox Peel. This is for professionals only, so I am a trained uh, NIMU stockist, okay? So please don't think this is something you could do to yourself at home. Um, just to get that disclaimer out there before we start. This peel is amazing as uh, a flash treatment. So it's going to take 30 minutes, you could have it on your lunch break, and it's going to treat a multitude of concerns. So whether it's things like oiliness, blackheads, congestion, dryness, aging, even a bit of sensitivity, pigmentation we could start to potentially treat with this. It's got pumpkin in there to um, exfoliate and brighten the skin. You've got AHAs in there um, for your rejuvenation. You've also got charcoal for deep cleanse. So it's actually a black peel. So we're going to be seeing that um, on my skin in a minute. And also you've got a lovely kind of foaming technology in there, which will bubble up to oxygenate the skin again to give you a really nice glow. And last but not least, we also have the um, pseudo heat. So it's like a fake heat in this one. It's quite a superficial peel, so it's suitable for most skins. But the fake heat is actually going to trick the skin into thinking that it is, in fact, warm. And therefore, you're going to get an increased blood flow and an increased uh, healing then. So you'll get a better result. So who is this suitable for? It's suitable actually for pretty much any skin, unless there was an active eczema or dermatitis, in which case we couldn't perform it, certain medical conditions as well. However, what I quite like about this one in comparison to the other uh, NIMU peels is that this one's actually suitable for diabetic clients. I have used it on diabetic clients with really nice results. So if you were to come in for the treatment, um, you would obviously have this done on a bed. I'm just literally going to be popping on my hair net and headband today. It is quite messy, okay, because it's like I say, it's a black peel. Um, but obviously, if you were coming in to have this done with myself, then you don't need to worry about that. But I need to take precautions so I don't ruin my white, uh, lovely Nimue headband there. So let me just pop this hair net over the top. There we go. All right, so I'm aware I look a bit strange right now. So let's start with our cleanser. So in salon, I would use the professional trolley size. This is the retail version of Nimue Cleansing Gel here. Yes, this is what I'm going to be using on myself today. It's the same product, just in different refillable, uh, lovely packaging. You should actually keep the outer. And then four to five months later, once you're done, you can purchase the uh, new refill for the inside. Okay, so let me just pump that out there. I'm using just on my bare hands because my own skin. In a treatment, I would also use gloves. Okay. So cleanse. I've got foundation on. This is going to do a really, really good job of taking all that off. I don't need to use a separate makeup remover. I'm just going to remove with pieces of gauze, just for hygiene, that's what I use for all of my peels. If you were just cleansing at home though, obviously you could just use the flannel or rinse it off. Okay, so we can see how much foundation is actually coming off on these. It's completely safe for use around the eye as well, which is quite nice. You don't need separate eye makeup remover. And the cleansing gel treats pretty much everything. Um, I'd say about 90% of my clients use it. It's part of their routine. The only people who it wouldn't be suitable for would be sensitive skin. And they'd have their own cleanser. That's a different formula. Let me just double cleanse because of the makeup. So the first one to get rid of makeup, second one then to actually clean my skin. There we go. So I've got everything off around the eyes. You can see, you know, where my sort of got a bit of pigmentation around the eye. Um, I'm my own worst critic, you know. Um, do myself a skin analysis and tick every box for symptoms. Right, so I've also got, say, a few breakouts here. Um, there's some that are, that, are, that are healed, but obviously you've got the post-inflammatory scarring then, so I'm working on that at the moment. At home. And this peel will obviously help with that, especially if we're going to do a course of them. So close-up then. 
so I've got, you know, the texture's okay, actually, because I've been on Nimue for so long. Um, but it can always be improved. So I've got a little bit of um, sun damage here, as you can see. So I'll try and fade all that down over the next few weeks. Sun damage here and here. These I've had for a long time, so these are going to be more difficult. But it'll be interesting to see what will happen just by changing a couple of products around. Right, so that's my cleanse. So the next stage, then, is conditioner. So again, at home, you get your lovely refillable packaging with the spray. This is not a toner. So many people just skip this out or choose not to buy it because they just think that it's not really needed. This is the strongest um, retail product that you would be allowed to use as a walk-in customer. So for the first four weeks you're on NIMU, that is the strongest product that you'd be allowed to use. So it's the strongest product in what we call phase one. So 7% AHA. So if you think that some of our peels are only 15%, it's nearly as, you know, it's nearly half as strong as a, as a peel. So you do need to be using your conditioner at home. You'd use it like a toner, as in you just pop it onto gauze or cotton pad and wipe over with it. Um, but the rejuvenation that you're going to get from this, so it's good at decongesting, it's good at brightening. Anything, any result you'll get from a peel, you'll get with this, just obviously not as good. But the fact that you're doing it twice a day means that the results are actually comparable. Um, Nimu is so active and goes so deep into the skin and uses all the right ingredients that you'll be really surprised at what kind of results you can achieve. Everything's pH balanced. So they've literally ticked every box with their um, formulations. So I've cleansed and conditioned. I don't need to do a separate exfoliation because the exfoliation is in the peel. I am, however, going to use Nimue Hydro Lip Therapy as a barrier. So you can actually buy these to use as lip balms. I'm just going to be applying um, with a cotton bud to my lip, just in case the peel hits there. Also the corners of the eyes to stop it kind of running in there. And just around uh, the nostrils here. It smells lovely, it's got like a shea butter kind of fragrance to it, but that would be the, the fragrance of the product rather than a synthetic fragrance that's been added. Really, really nice for Vaseline addicts, but I'm going to use it today as a barrier, so anything that's open, we barrier. So say these spots were open, for example, I'd have to put a little bit on there, because otherwise the peel is going to really sting. So that's my barrier, so I'm going to go on with my peel then, with my brush. The timing on this is around 10 minutes, depending on what you're trying to treat so more sensitive skin obviously wouldn't leave it on for as long and it is black okay so i'm just gonna apply it's very difficult when you're trying to do this in a mirror like on a client i can do this in seconds i can feel the tingling on this already i'm not worried because i know my skin isn't sensitive it is just that kind of pseudo heat that we talked about earlier Try and avoid my eye there. Oh, it's really hot now. And obviously, I, on you, ooh, I'd apply it uh, a lot more evenly. It's just difficult to see in the uh, in the mirror there. Wow, my skin actually feels like it is on fire right now. Um, but again, I'm not worried because it is a pseudo heat. Um, on a client, I do the neck and chest as well, just because obviously a lot of people have like sun damage there. So I applied this and left for 10 minutes, during which time it made a lot of bubbles, so I could hardly keep my eyes open. So, 10 minutes later, and all of the bubbles seem to have popped now, which is a good indication that it's actually time to get this off. It doesn't feel really that warm anymore, it's just a little bit tingly. Um, sometimes it creates a lot of foam, um, in which case I would kind of just wh whip it off with a spatula, but I'm seeing there that actually not a lot is coming off. Um, so we can just go straight in and, and rinse this off now. So again, just using some gauze and some hot water to remove. We might need to do another cleanse, we'll see how we go now. So just a little bit more cleanser, just in case there's any residue there. I don't, really don't want to look like I'm walking out of here with soot all over my face. So second uh, cleanse after 
removal of peel. Skin still feels a bit tingly, which is normal. It just proves that it, this is active. It is going to give you a result. There we go. So that's all removed now. I'm going to use a product called TDS, which I use after every single peel. This one happens to be the one for hyperpigmentation. There is another one which is green label for problematic. You have a yellow labelled one for environmental damage and you also have the pink one for interactive or sensitised skin. I'm going to use the pigmentation one purely because this is what I am trying to work on right now in terms of like post-inflammatory scarring and also the, the sun damage here. You don't need loads. So if you were coming in for this peel, I would literally just kind of drop it over the face and just press it in. And this feels amazing after a peel. It just feels so soothing. The main ingredient in there is like a barrier repair ingredient. Um, so basically it's going to help to restore the skin's natural barrier, put more water into the skin, let the skin hold its own water, because then you'll get a better healing response if the, if the skin is more hydrated. Also, the fact that you've got the individual coloured ingredients, so for example, this one being pigmentation, you've got vitamin C added, which is good for brightening, and also something called octadecanodioic acid, or ODA, which is a melanin inhibitor, so it's going to dampen the, um, the production of pigment in my skin and therefore lighten. Aftercare hydrator, then. This is the only product suitable for application after a peel. It's not an active moisturiser. It is just a nice soothing, almost like an after sun type product. Okay, it's just a tiny bit on my hand there. And again, eucalyptus allantoin. So it's just really, really going to soothe and calm everything down. Wouldn't be allowed to go on with like the Nimue day creams or, or night cream because... They're all active, they're all AHA based. Okay, because it is daylight outside, I'm going to be applying my um, professional SPF on top. So this is the 40, which they also make with a tint. Um, and they also make the 50, which has a matte finish. Maybe I'll demonstrate that in another video because I actually really like the 50 for everyday wear because I've got a slightly oddier skin. Okay, but in the professional stock after your peels, this is what we're using on you. And say SPF, SPF, SPF because it is a peel. And there we go. So. What I'm going to do now is stop the camera for a minute just to dry my face with a tissue so you can get a, a really good example of the before and after here. So here I am just a few minutes later, um, just dried the face um, with a tissue. So, I mean, there is a little bit of tack there. You, I mean, you can see the glow, but the, the glow is mainly actually my skin, believe it or not. It doesn't feel like I've got any... Um, product or anything there. I'm um, just going to come a little bit close just so we can see maybe the difference um, between the skin before versus the skin after. So I will um, try and split the screen here for you too. So you can see the difference in texture there. It feels very, very fresh, if that's the right word to use, very, very clean. And I know because obviously I'm a skincare specialist, I'm, this is what I do all the time, the results will continue. So we'll have a little look tomorrow as well at um, the results without makeup when I come into work tomorrow morning. So here I am the following day. Um, skin feels really fresh still. Um, the, the skin tone looks more even in terms of the colour and also the texture. I've still got this kind of dewy glow, which is literally just my skin. I haven't even put an SPF on today, so I wanted to show you um, what it's looking like in comparison to before we did the peel last night. Oh, there's a little bit of glitter on my face because I've been filing nails today. Okay, so really pleased with the results. If you'd like to book yours, consultations are free at hannahmcandrew.com. Or you can just book the treatment. Like I say, it's suitable for pretty much any skin. And it's a nice starting point, I think, before you have a peel to decide if it's something that you want to progress with and, and do a course of. 
If you are interested in becoming a new stockist, um, please just reach out to me um, on my page, um, info at hannahmcandrew.com or on Facebook. Um, I'll pop the link in the comments for you.